I go to battle for you every day to combat the nonsense in the mainstream media. They're more interested in sound bites and sensationalism. I'm interested in the truth and being your consumer advocate. My ultimate goal is to help you win in any marketplace, and I'm bringing an edge in the real estate and financial game. My name is Craig Sewing, and this is The American Dream. Now we're halfway there. Welcome back to the show. Uh, we've talked a lot about the financial market, the real estate market. I want to give you a free gift today. When you own a home, it's your biggest investment. Yeah, it's a home. You're going to build a lot of memories. That's very important. But it's your biggest investment. One thing I encourage you to do is get an appraisal every year. Know what's happening in your market. Know what's happening with your biggest investment. Uh, because of our network of professionals, we're going to give a free appraisal of your property for anybody who texts in your zip code and free value to the number you see on your screen. We're going to give you a free full-on property evaluation, but you're going to save 500 bucks. You don't have to go spend $500 on an appraisal. All you have to do is send a text, and we're going to get you all dialed in there. It's a great gift, good for you to look at with your spouse and just understand what is happening specifically in our housing market. All right, as we always encourage, I want you to go into our website, asking the questions that you have from this show and past shows, certainly our radio show as well. Uh, let's take a quick look at uh, one we got recently. Uh, online. Craig, where is the best place to get a copy of my free credit report without dinging my credit? This is Tim in Chula Vista. You know, I, I'm glad you asked that. We're going to have Aran Sinai, our credit expert, is going to be joining us here in just a bit talking about credit uh, as well as things like identity theft. But when it comes to free credit reports, the first place I'm going to tell you not to go is freecreditreport.com unless you want to get sold a bunch of stuff from Equifax who owns it. So when you're getting a free credit report, go to annualcreditreport.com. You can do it one time per year. It doesn't ding your credit. Good place to learn what's going on with your credit report. I'm going to tell you right now, there's probably some inaccuracies. As over 90% of credit reports have inaccuracies. So let's do a credit analysis with you, with our team. Let's make sure you're in good shape there. I always say that bad credit is a choice. Don't, uh, don't make that choice. We can help you on that front as well. Uh, for CNBC this week, we're going to switch gears. We're going to get back into the real estate market, specifically a, a big case that happened in the mortgage industry recently. Let's take a look at this video from CNBC. $7 billion settlement, uh, and that's that official. We're also expecting uh, some results as well. Um, Attorney General Holder, uh, in calling the mortgage conduct egregious, uh, said Citigroup knew about concealed uh, serious and widespread defects uh, in its pre-crisis mortgage uh, business. Um, the Justice Department and Citi uh, announcing a $7 billion settlement uh, today. And we're seeing it right now. It'll be a total of four and a half billion in cash, and two and a half billion in consumer relief as a result. It's going to take a second quarter charge of 3.8 billion dollars pre-tax, pre-tax, and uh, the cash portion consists of four billion dollar civil monetary payment to the DOJ. So it was a big story on Monday. You heard a lot of talk of that on CNBC and other news channels as well. Why should you care? You, you shouldn't. Who cares? It's $7 billion. It's a smack on the wrist of these guys. It doesn't correct any of the behavior. But the one thing I want to let you know about is the, the things that got this market into the crisis that, that hit into 2008, these things don't really exist anymore. There's much tighter regulations over the industry that lends the money. Uh, getting qualified is much more difficult. There really aren't these subprime loans. So I wouldn't be fearful of the financing options that exist today. If you feel like you were taking advantage, uh, taking advantage of in a previous uh, loan product. I, I encourage you to connect us. We've got a loan modification specialist and attorneys who can help you. But the story's not too relevant to you, except I don't think there's as much to be fearful of today. Let's go ahead and talk more about this and also what's happening in our real estate market. I'm going to bring in the Wall Street Journal's number one realtor here in San Diego. He's heard regularly on 1170 AM KCBQ, Kurt Wanabo. Welcome, Kurt. Also joining Elizabeth Hi there. with the Grand, Grand Del Mar. Del Mar. So yes. excited to have you here as well. So we're going to talk a lot about the cool things happening with Grand Del Mar, some of the restaurants there, some of the events coming up. So you uh, recently wrote a piece in Pacific Magazine, you I and did. I both, and you, you spoke of the Carmel Valley marketplace, mm -hmm. uh, but I know you cover more than just Carmel Valley, but it's a market you're really niched in. You talked about some of the things happening as far as numbers, the real estate market. Mm -hmm. 
also the social scene. So Elizabeth's going to help us with that. Uh, let, let's talk about real estate, what's happening there right now. You're, you seem to always be ahead of the curve on inventory numbers. We talked about this on Tuesday. SDR came out with a report mm -hmm. saying inventory had increased. Here is a report from your website, actually, of 92130. What do people need to know about inventory? Well, we're, we are at the peak of the market. It's July, so this is typically and seasonally when we see the most amount of homes on the market. So it means for buyers that there's a lot of opportunity and chance for you if you're looking for properties. If you're a seller, you need to be aware of that and be priced competitively so that you can get your home sold quickly. You know, I had lunch this week with a gal who is out of Mount Helix. She's selling her home. Mm -hmm. And she said she's about 30 days in right now. Right. And she was asking me if her if her listing agent was doing a bad job because she hasn't, hasn't sold the home yet. There's been four open houses. Right. And I said, you know, I can't really tell you in this lunch. I don't, I don't know, but I do know that pricing is really, really important right now, but mm -hmm. same with marketing. Can you speak to both of those on, on, in today's marketplace? Just when there is a high inventory, that means there's a lot of competition, right? Yep. There's a lot of other homes, so you need to have the strongest marketing package and you need to be priced competitively, not higher than everybody else, sometimes not even priced in line with everybody else. Sometimes you need to go a little bit under them so that you can get that excitement and buzz for the property. Yep. We'll switch to the social scene. Stuff's more fun. Yeah. So what I wanted to do today was talk a little bit more about the social scene in the area that I work in Carmel Valley in the 92130 zip code and talk about some of the amenities that are actually in that area. And one of the things that I actually find quite frequently is this. We have one of the most prestige hotels located right in our backyard. Yep. But yet I talk to, to homeowners almost every day who literally live just a few hundred yards away from the, the Grand Del Mar and don't even know it exists because it's kind of nestled back in a community there. So yep. what I wanted to do was bring in Elizabeth Hittinger, who works as the wine director at the Grand uh, Del Mar and some of the restaurants, to actually talk about the resort and what they have to offer and some of the things that are going on. So thank you very much for coming on the show. Thank you yeah. so much Elizabeth, for having thanks me. Thanks for joining. Next time of we course. gotta have her bring the wine, actually. Yes. Next time. Yeah. Next yeah. time yeah. So I'll bring the bring, wine. Bring the wine, that always makes things more fun. <laughs> Absolutely. But, so the Grand Del Mar, you know, I think people know the name, they've right. heard of it, but even but people what is it? their yard, what, what is it? Let's start there. It's a five-star, five-diamond resort uh, right in the Los Penasquitos Canyon Reserve, nestled right up in there, and it has about approximately 250 rooms, including 31 approximately suites, uh, and it's just gorgeous. We have amazing, we're actually triple five-star, our spa There's has five stars. some great pictures stars. that are flashing on the screen on it. <laughs> yeah. Our spa, Addison Restaurant, and uh, and the resort itself all have five stars and five diamonds. So it's uh, it's quite so, an accomplishment. And we were recently rated the number one hotel in the United States uh, by TripAdvisor wow. for their well, that's a traveler's pretty choice. Valid, incredible <laughs> source. Which is pretty so cool. you know, I, I want to pull something from this conversation. Uh, so TripAdvisor rated you number one. You had mentioned a lot of homeowners mm -hmm. don't know much about it. Now, if I live in Carmel Valley, Del Mar, the areas where Kurt is an expert, what, what could I do to take advantage of? I understand if you're traveling from out of town, you're trying to impress some some you know big wigs that you came in town with for a convention, whatever, Comic Con maybe, I don't know. But uh, <laughs> but as far as being someone of San Diego, what are some things that I can do there and take advantage of? Absolutely. Well. Uh, I would say definitely take advantage of the spa. We have an amazing spa uh, yep. program that's amazing. And then, of course, I'm here because I direct the wine program over at Addison, which is the Five Star Five Diamond uh, restaurant with Chef William Bradley, who's the executive chef, and he's brilliant. And you should take people to dinner at Addison, yeah. I would well, say. How do, you become, how do you become a wine director for the Grand Del Mar? Yeah, I see the golf swing there. It's I don't a, know if you want me doing that. You drink that. a lot of wine. Well, I'm just saying. <laughs> is that it? I was just going to say they actually have a golf course there as well. We do. We have a golf course. Uh, it is private, but I would say take a weekend, stay at the resort, uh, play a little golf, go take, get a massage and have dinner. and Staycation. It, a staycation. Yeah. Which is amazing. And uh, I do meet a lot of locals that, that are... Uh, are unfamiliar with us and we do try to bring them in as much as possible mm -hmm. right now we're actually running a special at addison uh and if you're a local i would take advantage of it it's uh, called summer in la salon it's our, okay. our bar lounge area uh you get a series of canapes or hors d'oeuvres and a b full bottle of wine that uh, we custom well, tell select us about addison you. restaurant that's so that's where you are positioned that's where uh, you're I'm the positioned. wine director for the grand del mar but you do a lot of work within Addison, and also I'm going to butcher Over this, but Bijou. Bijou. Bijou in La Jolla. So I'm the wine director for Addison and for Bijou. 
and uh, they're both very different restaurants. So Addison is our fine dining tasting menus. Uh, it's really luxurious. Uh, whereas Bijou is our French bistro. It's very casual, very fun, traditional, classic. Uh, we like to say French soul in the heart of La Jolla. And that's a really great, really great food there. Sean Gethin is the chef. When she says fine dining, dining at Addison, I believe they have a, a, a five and a seven and a ten we, course meal. Is that we correct? We do. We have a... What could you possibly squeeze into a ten course meal? <laughs> A lot well, with wines. En enlighten me. Uh, Was it five wines and five meals, or what? I mean, we do a wine for every course. So if you get ten courses, you're having ten little sips of wine. It, it even well, we that you're Uber not. We got coming here in just a bit. Who can help us Precisely. with the transportation? Precisely, Uber would be great for someone that would be uh, having the wine pairings. Uh, how long does a ten course meal take? It depends how fast you eat. <laughs> depends uh, how fast you drink. <laughs> <laughs> Precisely. I've had people. Uh, we've had people go there and do the 10 course and be out in two hours and then we've had people really languish in the experience and they're out in four or five hours so it really we take as much time as you like the table is yours for the are, evening are you, with, with a lot of things you guys do there do you typically find yourself working with or doing things for people that are San Diegans or people coming from out of market or, or both, mostly we, both? Both, both. Yeah. We, tr we try to encourage as many locals as possible to come and, and enjoy the, the property as much as possible. But we do see a fair amount of business from international guests uh, at the hotel and, and at the resort as well. So, What about if we want to do an event? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Enlighten me to the events. So we, we, we have a private events team both at the resort and at Addison specifically and at Bijou. So you're, well, you can do an event any, any amount of people. It's not too big or too small. At Addison, I think if you've got a small group of people, we've got a chef's table that's interactive uh, that up to 14 people we really can accommodate and it's a beautiful table and it's very private and that's a really fun well, event. The Wall Street Journal rated him the number one realtor in, the, in San Diego, much less also Carmel Valley and Del Mar. It sounds like you put the event on. Yeah. <laughs> put something on for us, Kurt. No, absolutely. I, I love going to the resort. I go there, you know, not always for the 10 course meal, but to just go and, and, and have a few drinks, if play, well, uh, have the restaurant at the Amaya. It's, it's a little bit more casual so you can you don't have to stay for the whole two and a half hours, but it's a great place. Again, a great place for people to go for staycations. If you're into golfing for the women, where there's the spa and yep. a lot of great food, etc. Awesome. So I got to get up there. I, I, I haven't Please done it do. yet, but I would, I'd love to connect with you. Absolutely. We'll have Kurt set up an event of some sort. Please do. So awesome, Kurt. Thanks for bringing in uh, Elizabeth here. Great information. I know we have the website if people want to reach out and learn more about what's happening. It's cool to always celebrate some of the Great things local to San Diego, thegranddelmar.com. You can connect with Elizabeth. And of course, real estate. It's one of the best real estate markets on the planet. Uh, Carmel Valley, Del Mar, this area. Kurt is the guy of this marketplace. Brokerkurt.com. A lot of great videos, a lot of great information there. I'd love to get to one of our emails here. If we could keep Kurt in, maybe help me answer this. It's probably a real estate question uh, that we got online, guys. Craig, love the radio show. My bank is pitching me to do bi-weekly payments. This is a smart thing to do. I don't really understand how it works. This is Jim and Escondido. Uh, Kurt, you probably don't dive into this stuff. This is more of a mortgage question, but I'll, 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 I'll answer this for you. You know, bi-weekly is a, it's a smart thing to do because let me do some math for you. If you uh, are making a mortgage payment, you make it to the first of every month. Well, there's 12 months in a year. Uh, there's four weeks in a month, so four times 12 is 48, right? But we know that there's 52 weeks in a, in a full calendar year. So what happens when you make half payments every two weeks is you're actually making 26 half payments a year. Now let's divide that by two because they're only half payments. So you're making 13 full payments towards your mortgage year. That extra month goes directly towards principal, reamortizes your loan, reduces the amount of interest you're gonna pay, and it can be a good program. Unlike a 30-year mortgage, you can pay off in 24 years. 20-year note, you can pay off in about 16, 15, somewhere around 13. Personally, I don't like it, because you could do this strategy on your own without being forced to do it, and I would look at more aligning with a financial planner that helped you to have the discipline of saving that same amount of money put it into a liquidable side fund where paying the mortgage or the principal balance is a strategic decision versus required by the bi-weekly program, which also makes money on a, on a payment fee and your money being held in escrow. So that's my two cents.